Hey Faith family, it's Brother Mario. I pray you guys are having a wonderful day. I wanted to make a quick video here to let you all know that I was able to predict everything that we're seeing taking place in the world as a response to the coronavirus. For those of you who don't know, back in 2012, I started a YouTube channel called The Vigilant Christian. It no longer exists today because of Google online censorship. They basically didn't want me saying the things that I was saying. But one of the things that I oftentimes talked about, especially in my New World Order video series, was the fact that there is a global elite that seek to enslave mankind. The Bible supports this. If you look in Psalm chapter 2, what you're going to see is that the kings of the earth, therefore the elite, set themselves up against God and his anointed. And what we also see through the prophecies in the Bible, as they... Um, point to the end time specifically is that in the end days we are going to see a global economic and worship system built around the antichrist we see this in the book of revelation the book of daniel and other books of the bible that tell us that the antichrist will have an entire global system that supports him if you do not have the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead you will not be able to buy or sell in this system and so based on these Bible prophecies and my own research in the world, I was able to predict what we're seeing in the world today. And I wasn't alone in doing so. In fact, there's an entire community that's oftentimes falsely labeled as conspiracy theorists, which I believe to be nothing more than people who seek truth, who've been trying to be a voice warning the public that's asleep and not aware of these things, that these things were to come. In the comment section below, I'll even use a cartoon that was drawn up years and years before showing and warning people that one day we would face what we are seeing in the Walmarts today, food shortages. Today it's uh, toilet paper and basic essentials. It could very well continue to continue to be worse. And so I wanted to make a video here to let you all know that there is a conspiracy. Don't let that, world, that word fool you. I believe that that word has been weaponized in a way to make people who pursue truth appear crazy in the eyes of everyday people. So don't be deceived. Look into this. And it's going to be hard for you to investigate these things because Google has buried them. You may now have to go to page 8, 9, or 10 in your Google results in order to find what I'm talking about. We, in I think it was like 2016 and 17, were starting to really get this information out there. And then conveniently, there was what was called the ad apocalypse, in which mainstream media took over social media, and uh, the true independent media, like myself, were censored and buried. So it's going to be very hard for you to investigate the things that I'm talking about, but this is part of a plan. This is not a coincidence. In the future ahead, we are going to see much more of these things. Like I've been warning all these years, martial law, economic collapse is coming, uh, a push for globalization, a world currency, a moving away from the, the uh, paper currency to a digital currency and eventually a chip. So these things are going to occur and I've been warning a, a, about this for a long time. I even stopped warning people uh, because I just, it got to be too much for me these things that are coming are going to be very heavy on us. Uh, so, you know, I just started focusing more on the Lord, but boom, here we are today. And with the events surrounding coronavirus, we're seeing the agenda for the new world order. And so I was going to take this opportunity to speak out because I am a voice on this. And I, I want to be here today to tell you that that is what we're seeing is the fulfillment of what the watchmen have been warning about all these years, that there is a big brother globalized system of world elites who are trying to do some evil twisted things. But the Bible warned us that these things would occur and that we need not fear. God is in control. And so I just wanted to make a video quick to bring this up so that when we look at the world here today, we're not led astray, thinking that it's just a coincidence. You're going to notice it's by design. Every couple of years, they engineer, in my opinion, a virus and it outbreaks, whether it's uh, Zerka, um, H1N1, SARS, whatever. And then they do these type of controls, right? They're controlling your ability to go to the store, the martial law. And it's all about taking away our rights and freedoms as people. 
and getting us conditioned like Pavlov's dog to this so that we start getting accustomed to our privileges, our rights, freedom of expression being taken away. For those of you who don't know, this is part of a greater war. In 2017, when they took down my YouTube channel, it was an attack on free speech. And this is an attack on our liberties under the guise of protecting us from this virus, which probably is a real threat. So anyways, we got some sickos who run the countries. At the end of the day, you may not believe in Bible prophecy, but let me just tell you some common sense here. Sick, twisted psychopaths are running this planet. Open your eyes, plain and simple. The people that we have running the major institutions of the world, the big economic systems, military systems of the world, the big governments are controlled by a bunch of psychopaths. Like they've lost touch with reality. In my opinion, they're, a lot of them are demonic. Okay, can't you not see that, that the world is set up unjustly, that those who have been given power are not using that correctly. This shouldn't be that far of a stretch. This shouldn't appear like conspiracy theory. If it does, it's probably because of the brainwashing they put on society. This should appear like common sense to people. I mean, come on, look at the world in the way it is. It's obvious that those who are in the positions of power don't care about us. And the Bible tells us that they don't. And in fact, they have a sinister agenda to establish the Antichrist kingdom, which benefits them and not the common man like me and you. So I'm not really going to get into this topic too much, uh, even though I felt at one point this was the main thing that, that God wanted me to talk about. I don't feel like that's the case anymore. Um, I'm going to continue to talk about God, his love, his comfort, his healing, how God can break chains of addiction, how we can strengthen our relationship with Christ. Uh, but every once in a while, you're going to hear me blowing my trumpet and warning about these things. We are in the end times. And, you know, it's sad to say, but I told you so. A lot of you guys, uh, you didn't want to believe me. Well, here we are. This is it. It's what I've been talking about. They're going to use these things to bring about the Antichrist kingdom. But also, let me remind you that God is sovereign. As Christians, we are bold, fearless. We don't fear any evil, which is why I say that so many times when I close my videos. Um, so yeah, just wanted to share this all. Do your own research while you still can. Maybe it's better off to start on page eight of Google so that you can actually get good sources, not the mainstream uh, propaganda that the, the, the elite want you to. Even that, study that, start with that. Look at who controls the media. You're going to see that it's six companies that own all the major uh, media voices of the world today. It's insane. Go down the rabbit trail a little bit and uh, you'll see that uh, the devil's down there and he's up to something. He has a plan. He has an agenda, but so does God. And God's going to turn this evil into good. All right. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Continue to stay vigilant and fear no evil.